Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be talking about climate, focusing on the equatorial and tropical marine climates. Climate is the average condition of the atmosphere over a period of 30 to 35 years. When we study climate, we mainly focus on the average temperature and precipitation of an area. Equatorial climate is located on lowland areas about 5 to 10 degrees north and south of the equator. It is for the fact that it is so close to the equator that it has the name equatorial. This climate is therefore influenced by the ITCZ, which forms near or at the equator. Equatorial climate is experienced in places such as the Amazon Basin in South America, the Congo or Zaire Basin in Africa, as well as the East Indies in places such as Singapore and Indonesia. In the Caribbean, it is experienced in Southern territories close to the equator, such as Guyana and Suriname. However, some places which share the same latitudinal range do not have equatorial climate because they are high and altitude influences climate. Notice on the map that the Andes is located along the same latitudinal range as the Amazon basin. However, since the Andes is higher than the Amazon, its climatic characteristics are different. The same is true of the highland areas of East Africa. Now, though the position of the overhead sun varies throughout the year, it is always high in the sky at the equator, which means that places which are close to the equator receive a lot of sunshine throughout the year. Sunshine, in turn, gives lowland areas near the equator a high temperature. The sun heats the surface, and the surface, in turn, heats the atmosphere above it. Now, these high temperatures are experienced all year round in equatorial regions with average monthly temperatures of about 27 degrees Celsius. Temperature variations are low and insignificant. Thus, the annual temperature range, which is the difference between the warmest and coldest month, does not exceed 3 degrees Celsius and is most time lower than 3 degrees Celsius. The diurnal temperature range, which is the difference between the largest and smallest temperature for the day, is not as small as the 
annual range, but is still small. It is seldom more than 10 degrees Celsius. This is owed to the extensive cloud cover, which reduces sunlight in the day and also reduces radiation loss at night. Equatorial areas have no distinct dry season since rainfall occurs throughout the year. The main type of rainfall is convectional and is largely produced by the influence of the ITC set. Now, the bars on the climate graph show that there is sorry, shows that there is rainfall every month in equatorial regions. As such, the total annual rainfall is heavy, usually exceeding 2,000 millimeters. Notice also on the graph that there are two periods of heavier rainfall which marks the two times that the ITCZ passes over an area on its way to the north and then on its return to the south. Let's now turn to the tropical marine climate. Tropical marine climate is located on islands and coastal areas between 10 degrees to the tropics. This climate comes under the influence of the trade winds blowing on shore. The climate is therefore experienced by most of the Caribbean islands, but also occurs in northeast Brazil, as well as east coast Madagascar. Like the equatorial climate, tropical marine climate have high temperatures throughout the year. However, places to the north, like the Greater Antilles, may become cool during the Northern Hemisphere's winter due to the influence of cold fronts. The annual temperature range is often quite small, but not as small as the equatorial climate. It is about 5 to 10 degrees Celsius. Temperatures are higher during the wetter season and lower during the drier season. Rainfall occurs in the form of convectional as well as orographic rainfall. Convectional rainfall results from the high temperatures, while orographic or relief rainfall results from the fact that there are many areas of high relief in these regions. Tropical marine regions experience annual rainfall of between 1,200 to 2,000 millimeters. There is a wetter and a drier season. The drier season occurs when the ITCZ migrates to the south, at which time anticyclones bring stable weather conditions to the region. 
However, the season is not extremely dry as there may still be some rainfall from time to time. The wetter season occurs when the ITCZ has migrated to the north, at which time the region comes under the influence of easterly waves and sometimes tropical cyclones, including tropical storms or even hurricanes. Now, this climate graph shows that from about December to March, there is the drier season. Notice that there is a smaller amount of rainfall. The rainfall during this season is partly the result of cold fronts which may bring some amount of rainfall at that time of the year. In the months of May to October, there is higher amounts of rainfall when the Caribbean is under the influence of easterly waves, tropical storms, or even hurricanes. Now, let us look at a few past paper questions on the topic. Now, this first question uh, says, define each of the following, weather and climate, and these are both for two marks. All right, so this is simple. This is easy for you to get these four marks. For weather, remember that weather is the daily or day-to-day -day condition of the atmosphere. Climate, on the other hand, is the average condition of the atmosphere over a period of 30 to 35 years. Now, this other question says, for areas with tropical marine climate, outline two characteristics of the rainfall and two characteristics of the temperature. And that is for four marks, which means that uh, you will be getting two marks to talk about rainfall, two marks to talk about the temperature all right so remember some of the characteristics of rainfall could be the amount of rainfall it could be the pattern of the rainfall it um it could be the type of rainfall and so on so you would choose a, um, two characteristics and then you would say something about those characteristics. So for example, if you are talking about the rainfall pattern in tropical marine climates, then you could talk about the fact that there is a wet season and a dry season. You could also state the time of the year that we generally experience the wet season and the dry season but you don't need to give a whole lot of details just because um it's only two marks and you could also talk about the types of rainfall that we experience in tropical marine climates so you could state the fact that we have orographic which is the same as relief rainfall as well as convectional rainfall in terms of temperature you could talk about the annual range of temperature which is about five to ten degrees celsius and you could also talk about the pattern of the temperature that it 
doesn't vary a lot throughout the year, but that it might be um, slightly higher during the wetter season and lower during the drier season. And you could also talk about the geographical distribution, um, the fact that uh, in northern territories in the Caribbean, cold fronts may influence the temperature. You could also mention that the temperature is uh, influenced by the sea, by the uh, trade winds blowing from the sea. All right, so you would choose any two characteristics and you would talk about them. All right, always bear in mind the marks. All right. Then this question says, state two characteristics of the temperature and two characteristics of the rainfall of equatorial regions. Again, the first thing that you need to do is to think about the different characteristics that you could talk about. And remember, of all the different characteristics, you would only need to talk about two for each of the factors that we are talking about. So for temperature, you could talk about the average temperature in equatorial regions, which is about 27 degrees Celsius. You could talk about the, the pattern or the distribution that temperature does not vary much throughout the year and therefore um, there's a small annual range of temperature, um, no more than three degrees Celsius. And it's good for you to remember um, these numbers, all right? Uh, you could also talk about the diurnal or the daily temperature range, which is um, in most cases no more than 10 degrees Celsius. Then when it comes on to rainfall, you could talk about the total amount of rainfall for the year, which um, usually is about 2,000 or more millimeters. You could talk about the type of rainfall that occurs that occurs um which is convectional rainfall then you could talk about the the rainfall pattern that there is rainfall throughout the year so rainfall is well distributed but that there may also be two heavier periods of rainfall uh, which coincides with the passage of the IT season. All right, so it's your choice. It's important that you know the different characteristics uh, so that when you go into the exam, it will be easier for you to write. All right. So this is where I will end this video. As usual, if you have not subscribed as yet, as yet, go ahead and subscribe. Also, like the video and share it with somebody, especially someone you know who would also benefit from this video.